What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? I asked you a question. Hey guys, I do have a Wednesday morning editorial for you. Uh, this morning we're gonna go to Patterson, New Jersey, here on Hump Day. Uh, Patterson, New Jersey, of course, I already did a, a editorial earlier on this where an officer was charged in this FBI probe. Well, apparently a sixth police officer has been charged in this FBI probe of Patterson, New Jersey's police department. Now, before I go there, there is a documentary on Netflix called Stray Bullet. Uh, I want you guys to go check that out, Stray Bullet. It's a story about three young men who are charged and tried for the murder of a young girl named Genesis. Now, of course, apparently they were shooting in the street. A young girl got fatally hit, and they try these young men. I'm not going to give it away. You're going to have to watch and see what the verdict was or the outcome of these three young men. Uh, but it's a very, very interesting uh, documentary. and It's really great. I think you should watch it. It's very, very, uh, it'll just keep you entranced to watch and see what's going to happen at the end. So moving on to the FBI probe, a sixth police officer, New Jersey's third largest city, faces criminal charges in connection with a federal probe that has painted a grim picture of illegal searches, drug dealing, thefts from drug suspects, meh, take it, and assaults. Man, Patterson police officer Daniel Pent was arrested Tuesday at police headquarters by FBI agents on a complaint charging him with conspiring to deprive individuals of civil rights under color of law. That's why we record the police. He made an initial appearance in federal court where his attorney called the 32-year-old a hero police officer, a very dedicated police officer who once took down an armed man in an alleyway. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, he was doing his job. He was doing his job. He's not a hero police officer. He's being, you know, I mean, if he's innocent, I know I'm going to get you guys upset. Innocent until proven guilty. But he was doing his job. He took an armed man down in an alleyway. That's what they're supposed to do. Sorry, I'm jaded. Moving on. <laughs> his attorney, Michael Calabro, or is it Calabro, said, now it's our turn to do an investigation into these charges. Patterson Director of Public Safety Jerry Speciali said Tuesday his department has cooperated with investigators during the probe. He said, quote, this is a collaboration we relish. We will never allow or accept any type of corruption. This is not reflective of the 418 men and women who serve with pride and dignity. Patterson Mayor Andre Sayeg has called for an outside audit of the police department. Finally, someone uses their common sense. Let's stop doing these internal justifications and let's have an outside audit. A, a grand jury of outside people. Not These internal justifications just over and over. Well, we find the officer acted within the... Da, 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 da. Of course you found that. Because the police department would be subject to liability if you found that he did wrong. Moving on. Keep moving on. The allegations are similar to ones leveled several years ago against the police department in Newark, about 15 miles south of Patterson. Those resulted in the Department of Justice, department of Justice investigation, someone needs coffee, that led to a consent decree and federal monitoring of the department that is in its third year, the public uh, federal monitoring. Speciali defended his department's handling of the investigation by saying, quote, This is a situation where the Patterson Police Department recognized a problem, identified a problem, and worked with the federal authorities to root out corruption. Well, it's not working with the federal authorities. You had to. I mean, you had no choice. The FBI's in your office. You've got to do what they say, pretty much, right? Yeah, welcome, welcome to America. According to a criminal complaint, Pent and fellow officer Yudi Ramos illegally stopped individuals and vehicles in Patterson, there you go, nationally it's happening, and stole money from the people they stopped. 
In one instance, in February 2017, the two officers allegedly took $10,000 from a suspected drug dealer, and Pent later filed a report saying that the man had $36 in his possession. Ramos was indicted last week, though through his attorney he has maintained his innocence. <laughs> I'm innocent. I didn't do it. The other guy did. Two other officers have been charged with similar shakedowns. Former officer Jonathan Bustios pleaded guilty in December to one civil rights count and one extortion count, while Matthew Torres, also charged in December, allegedly told FBI agents that he and Ramos engaged in criminal conduct routinely according to a criminal complaint. Torres' attorney didn't immediately return a message seeking comment Tuesday. That was this week. Two other officers were charged with separate crimes. Last June, Reuben McAusland admitted dealing drugs, including some he stole from a crime scene while on duty and taking part in the unrelated assault of a hospital patient. Federal prosecutors say McAusland distributed heroin, crack cocaine, powder cocaine, and marijuana on multiple occasions to someone who was cooperating with law enforcement. Fellow officer Roger Then pleaded guilty in December to concealing knowledge of a felony from authorities in connection with the assault of the hospital patient. So there you go. All of these guys are rolling over, telling on each other, saying, well, this happened. And as you see, Roger Then, um, he pleaded guilty to concealing the knowledge uh, from authorities. I don't know. I got lost in my thought there. But all these guys are coming forth now. They're being charged um, sixth police officer, six in just one police department. Uh, sounds to me like Patterson Police Department's going to have to be shut down and maybe uh, the Sheriff's Department there will have to be contracted to come in and work it. What do you guys think about that? Uh, I want to know. Maybe have the state patrol go in? The link to the news story, I'm sorry, it's hump day and I ain't had coffee yet. The link to the news story is in the description box below. Go read it, guys, and see what you think about this story. This is crazy, man. I, anybody in New Jersey, we want to hear from you people from New Jersey. What do you guys think? Anybody from Patterson, chime in on this story. Anybody from New York, Newark, chime in on this effing story. Forget about it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. News Now You Kite, but letting you know what's going on across your nation with law enforcement and everybody else. And this was actually an important editorial for me to do as I was reading it. I said, I've got to do it because this is one where I have to say at the end of this editorial, always record the police. You see red and blue flashing, you stop, you get your camera, you get out, you walk up and you record them. And if they don't like it, tough titty said the kitty and turned to the saucer of milk. You always record the police. You always got your hammer rolling. When they say, what are you doing? Are you, uh, you're, uh, I'm doing an investigation here. And you say yes, and I'm keeping you straight. When you write up your report, my video will substantiate your report. Am I correct, officer? That's what you say. My video will, re will, or will substantiate or should substantiate your report. Figure that one out. Because if it doesn't, you're lying. Cop. Let me know what you guys think. Have a great day, and it's over the hill from here on now.